Hey oh YouTube, it's Red Alchemy here. Let's go ahead and play some more Dragon Quest XI, shall we? So last time we uh, we went down underneath Octagonia. There were some stairs that descended into a dungeon. And we fought the Arachnagon, I think it was called, or Arachnagon, or some, something like that. It was a big spider. Uh, Vince, our partner, was actually taking people down there so that this arachnagon thing could uh could kill them well not kill them drain them of their power and turn it into like a liquid that vince could drink he ended up like overdosing on it it's it, it was said that it's not meant for humans to drink anyways long story short now we're going to the uh e even though vince was obviously juicing or whatever i guess they're still going to give us the prize because we won the mma fight I guess maybe uh, we didn't let it out that uh, that he was, you know, using steroids or whatever. So uh, we're going to the award ceremony now to get the rainbow. If you remember, that was the whole reason we were here was for this thing right here. It's the rainbow, which will be the first prize in the MMA tournament. It's giving off a mysterious glow. What's this one? It's the golden sphere that will be the second prize. Okay, it's a golden sphere. All right, well, let's. Uh, oh wait, I think we're supposed to go talk to someone. Let's see what this guy has to say. Hey, what are you doing here? Did you oversleep or something? Well, you better head up to the arena right away. The award ceremony's starting. Talk to the person at the desk. Okay. This person? Hey, Red Chan, it's time for the ceremony. Vince is back and raring to go. He's in the arena already. Everyone's waiting for you. I'd better take you up there right away if you'll follow me. Yes. Let's go. Yeah, the rainbow was the entire reason we came to Octagonia, so I'm ready to grab it and go. Let's move on. We've been here forever. All right, everybody, it's time to bring this year's Masked Martial Arts Tournament to a close. It's prize giving time. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you our champions, the Invincibles! And now, to present the prize. Hold on, hold on. Oh no, you don't. Don't be going and giving yourself away now. Seems kind of a shame to have the good folks of Octagonia come out and support us and not give them a show to enjoy. Okay, that's fine. You can do that. Why don't we make this interesting? I challenge you to a fight for the prize, partner. Winner takes all. All right, yeah, let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, the gauntlet has been thrown down. Now that's the stuff champions are made of. No backing out now, unless you want to ride on your hands. <laughs> huh. Ya. I don't do that stuff no more. I fight clean or not at all. Now let's do this. <laughs> All right, so I guess we have one more fight to get through. It's the technical finals, really. It's uh, me against my partner, so let's do this. Let's fight. Haha, <laughs> you missed. What an excellent way to start. Let's just start zapping, right? Like, there's not really anything else we can do as far as damage-wise. We don't have any debuffs we can do on him, so let's just zap him. Just start zapping and don't stop. Ooh, we get two turns? Nice. Our agility must be a lot higher than his. What? Why is he just standing there? What was that? That was... That was weird. Did he just give up? It's all over! The champ is down! We have a winner! Maybe it's just supposed to be... It's, it's showing how strong the, the juice made him. Because now that he's not taking it, he's just useless. Vince looked kind of weak out there. He sure did. 
What's gotten into him? Uh, I needed people to see that. To see that I ain't nothing without that juice. I never had what it takes to be the champ. You deserve that prize, man. Thanks. You taught me what it means to be a fighter again. I won't forget this time. We love you, Vince! Thanks for putting it on the line for us every time! You're a true champ, man! gives me great pleasure to announce that the winner of the rainbow is this is bad this is real bad what someone stole the rainbow right <laughs> it's gone it's no longer there it's the rainbow it's gone how did i know <gasps> and all there was instead was this and this letter too Looks like it's for you. Oh, it's it's Rab, Rab and Jade, isn't it? Come and meet me in Dundrasil. I've something to show you. Don't worry about the rainbow. It's safe with me. Okay, cool. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine with me. A shocking twist to end our tale, ladies and gentlemen. The grand prize snatched from under our champion's nose by none other than Old Man Rab. Will our hero journey to Dundrazil to claim what's rightfully his? How will it all end? I, for one, can't wait to find out! How will you ever find out? Those doves, they'll come back and tell him. So it's back to where it all began. Alright, well, yeah, no, so I'm cool with that, though, because I really want Rab and Jade to be in the party. Alright, awarded for overcoming the reigning champion Vince Vanquish and claiming the crown of Master of the Masked Martial Arts Tournament. Nice. Alright, you. You got my prize stolen. I'm mad at you. You're lucky that it's our future party members that stole it. Oh, look, she just said, look, it's Red Chan. Aww. That was exciting. <laughs> Fighting in the arena means performing in front of a crowd, and that means looking your best at all times. Bad skins, bad news out there in the ring. But keeping them, th keeping things blemish-free ain't easy when you're getting punched in the face all day. Luckily, Mellow Vera can do a real good job of fixing up a fighter's cuts and bruises, which is why I want some, bad. It grows by this big waterfall out west near where Dundersill used to be. Once you got some, you just need to squeeze it and get the good stuff out. Hey, you travel a lot, right? How about you head over there and grab some for me? I'll make it worth your while. Alright. Yeah. <clears throat> we really need to do some of these uh, quests, these side quests. I just keep putting it off. He says, oh, one thing you should know about the Melovera is that its roots go way down. It's the toughest fighter, even if the, uh, even the toughest fighter would have trouble trying to pull that stuff out of the ground, you'll need to cut off a piece or something. So you remember where I said it grows, right? You'll see it sparkling near a big waterfall out west. Cut me off a piece and bring it back, okay? Alright. I guess I can do that. I don't see any reason why not. <clears throat> Alright. Well. What does this guy have to say? He says, Oh, Red Chan, I, uh, on behalf of the organizing committee, allow me to offer you my heartfelt apologies. Your prize being stolen. It was our fault. Well, I say that, but we can't officially accept any responsibility, of course. That would be a open. That would open us up to all kinds of trouble. Still, if you could track it down, it's all yours. The old guy mentioned Dundersill, right? Maybe you should go look for it there. Huh? Where was that? It's southeast of here, or southwest of here. Sorry, you can't miss it. Scary old ruin, crawling with monsters. Ahem. <laughs> yeah. So let's go to the scary old ruin, crawling with monsters, shall we? All right. Uh, do I need to like heal or anything? No. Everyone's all healed up. We're good. Alright, so, leaving Octagonia. Uh, one thing I want to check. 
What side quest did I get here? Okay, so... He says there's a... Oh, so I didn't even realize it, but look at this. There, like, these quests that I haven't even, like, got yet, it'll actually tell you where to go to find them. It says there's a youngster at the orphanage in Octagonia who seems to be chasing shadows. Why don't you try talking to him and seeing what's up? Oh, so if you're able to get the quest, it'll actually tell you where to go to find it. That's really cool. This Porto, Val Porto Valor, I don't think that I've been there yet. That's probably where I'm about to go. Um, but let's go to the orphanage before we leave, since that is apparently a side quest that we never got. That's really neat. I did not know that that was a feature. Um, it's down the stairs. And to the west, I remember. And we go back up here. Um, how much... I have almost 6,000 gold. I should probably go to the armor shop before I leave, too. And actually, you know what? We'll just save that money, because we're going to a new town soon, I would imagine. So they'll probably be... Yep, here we go. Hey, do you know Zero the Shadow, the MMA fighter? He's the coolest. He can just, like, disappear. The other guys don't even know he's there. That's his thing. Anyhow, I really, really want to get his autograph. He's pretty much the only fighter whose signature I don't have. What about me? I'm not supposed to go off on my own, though, but you can go anywhere you want, right? Hey, could you go and get his autograph for me? <clears throat> yeah, sure. Well, thanks. So I heard he was in the last MMA tournament, which means he should still be here in town. I don't know what he looks like, but I'll bet he's big and strong and mean, you know? Like a fighter. You'll find him easy enough, I'm sure. Anyhow, I'll be waiting right here. Bring me Zero's autograph, and I'll be the happiest kid in Octagonia. Huh. I just wonder where that's at. Like, where is that person at? Because I haven't seen anyone. I mean, there's those big, strong guys that are everywhere, but I don't think that's what he's talking about. Um... Alright, let me just think here. Let me think if I've seen anyone that would fit that. Is there anything on the map, maybe? No, nothing new. <clears throat> Is this him? I never believed the rumors about Vince only being a champ because of that stuff he drinks, but I guess they were true. I gotta say, though, I ain't mad. He always puts in a good show, and I respect that. That's cool. At least they're not gonna, like, try and kill him or something. Uh, no, that guy has nothing to say. I'm only gonna look for this dude for a second, then I'll leave. Ooh, a file of finescence. Um... Is it you? Golden Eyes Golden Boy. After the monster took me when I was unconscious, I heard a voice. A soft, melodious voice. Silvando's voice. He was only saying my name, but it sounded like the most beautiful melody in the world. I always knew that he and I had a special connection. What? Alright, it's official. It is official. Silvando is gay, and Golden Boy is his lover. It's it's perfect. It's the it's the romance made in heaven. Golden Boy and Silvando. <laughs> Alright, and this cat. This cat too. He's pretty cool. Oh, look at him. Look at him. He's just like staring at us, like, oh you gonna pet me? I'll pet you kitty. Can't not pet the kitty. Look at his mouth. Did you see that? That was weird. Ah, it just like it just opens. It doesn't like hinge open. It just, it looked really weird. I don't know. It may not show up as well in the recording, but it looked really weird to me. Um, let me check in here, maybe? I think we've checked all these places for, like, stuff. Alright, it's all good. That's just, I'll save that for, you know, whenever we do the, the side, side quest um, episode. We'll just cover a bunch of those at once. Rab and Jade, those were their names, weren't they? The pair of thieves who ran off to Rainbow? With the Rainbow? <laughs> it's odd, but I'm sure I've heard those names before somewhere. I can't for the life of me think where. I'm sure they're famous or something. No, that's not him either. Stop it! I was just talking to, see, to you to see if you were Zero. I don't know. I don't know where that dude could be. He said he was in Octagonia. Somewhere. But I don't know where. I hate it because we probably get something cool for doing that. Let me look. <clears throat> the shadow. Oh, it's just a mini metal. Alright, well, that's still pretty cool, but it's nothing we need right now. 
Like, he was talking about him turning invisible, so I was thinking maybe there was some sort of, like, uh, skill or something that I would get for doing that quest where I would be able to turn invisible or something. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab our horse for the first time in a really long time. And let's go. Let's get out of here. Alright, so we're going to be heading southwest to Dundrasil. Uh, if we look at the map, it'll tell us, it just says, head for the ruins of Dundrasil. And if you see on the map, that is southwest. So, um, there's like a weird maze type thing we got to go through, it would appear. I don't know what that is. We'll see in just a second, though. Alright, so this is the area we've never been to, so here we go. So avoid these rabbits and stuff. We don't want to fight them. There's no real reason to. I level grinded so high that I think I'm good for a little bit. Wait a second. Wait a second. Now I want to go up there. I want to see what's up on the top area. How do I get up there? Oh, I see it. I see it. Sorry, horse. I gotta dismount you again. See, that horse. Like, I'm telling you, that horse is fairly useless. Every time I use it, I get right back off of it two seconds later. I don't know. Maybe it'll be useful at some point. We'll see. Nothing back there. There's gotta be some, like... Something over here. There's gotta be a treasure chest or who knows what. There's a mount! There's a Hornite! A Hornite! Oh my god, get away from me everyone. I'm trying to get this Hornite. Alright, so this is this has gotta be where the treasure chests are. You gotta get this mount and do something, I bet. Alright guys. I think everyone's still set to follow orders, actually. That's okay. Oh, we got Sizzle! Look at that! Veronica got a new spell. All right, so uh, let's uh, let's show you what Sizzle does. So as you can see, uh, the spells go from like, just like in Final Fantasy, how you have like uh, the Agas and like whatever added to the end of the spells to make it a, a stronger spell or whatever. Uh, that's the way it works with these spells. So you have uh, Frizz and then Sizz, and then Sizzle is actually, it's going to do more damage than Sizz, and uh, usually it goes from attacking one thing to multiple things, but in the case of Sizz, it already does a group of enemies. So I think, yeah, Frizz is the one. Okay, so basically it's Frizz it does a single enemy, Sizz does a group of enemies, and Sizzle is going to be doing a group of enemies, but with more damage. So, this is Sizzle. Nice! 69 damage! That was nice! There we go. We did it, darlings! 184 experience, that ain't shit. Alright, jump on, jump on, come on, go. Gotta get away from that other one. You get away? Okay, I'm good. I'm good, I'm good. Okay, so where to now? There's gotta be somewhere... Maybe... It looks like it connects. Right here, maybe? Do I go down there? I bet I go down here. I'm scared to just go down there, though. Oh, I can't. It won't let me. Yeah, you can't go off the sides here. Okay, well, let's look at the map again. It looks like... This back here is just... I guess that's just a dead end. It doesn't connect anything. I just want to make sure it doesn't connect anything anywhere. Because sometimes the places are kind of hidden that you're supposed to go connect to. Alright, now I think the whole point of this area back here was just to get the mount. So now that we have the mount, I guess we can go back? Is that right? So, let's go back down here. Bye horse, I have a better mount. The horse is just, the horse is old school, like... That's for, you know, people who haven't gotten hip to the new ways. The Hornite is the way to go. Obviously. If you don't have a Hornite to ride, then you're just, you're nothing. You, you ain't shit. So, get over it. Because you don't have a Hornite. What? How do I get up there? Hey. It's not fair. My Hornite doesn't jump that high. Alright. Now I'm mad. There's a treasure chest up there and I can't get it. Is this whole area pointless? Like, for real? There's a chunk of silver ore. That wasn't too bad, I guess. I do need to go to a camp, actually, and use the uh, the fun-sized forge when I get the chance. 
How do you get up there? Like, really, how am I supposed to get up there? It's gotta be later. It's gotta be, like, you get, uh, something later that'll let you fly around and land on things. Because that's just, it's too far up there. There's no way to jump up there. But what's this mount for? Why do I have this Hornite? <clears throat> I don't know. Let's move on, I guess. It's a little disappointing to go back there and do all that exploring and only get a piece of silver ore. A chunk of silver ore, sorry. But, whatever, let's move on. Alright, so now we are in the Dundrasil area, it looks like. I'm gonna go over to the side first in that little offshoot and see if there's anything cool over there. As long as I have the Hornite, because uh, I think I'm able to fly on water with the Hornite. So that might be, you know, what this uh, mount was for. But there's one right there, so I didn't even need that one. But it's okay, because... Oh, God, what was that? Oh, there's a golem. Get away from me. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Get away, get away, get away. Oh, my God. Ah, I ran into something. All right, well, that's cool, because we haven't fought one of these things yet, so I can show you what they are. All right, so... Oh, this is Serena. You know what? Let's go ahead and set everyone back to uh, fight wisely, because I'm kind of tired of uh, using all the other party members. They do pretty good on their own, so I'll just leave them be. Thank you. Now, this Zap should take this... It's called a Knight Errant? It's metal, though, yeah, so... Oh, nice! I wonder if there's any special pet powers between those two. I'm sure there probably are. Sorry, I know, I know I've just changed it, but I just want to see. Okay. Ah, never mind, They're, he's dead, so it doesn't even matter. Score one for the good guys! Ooh, butterfly wing. I think we got some stuff to make with butterfly wings in that spell book or whatever. Oh, that's the leaf of Melovera. Ah, oh, nice. Alright. Well, we can go complete that quest at least. Yeah, here we go. This is what this is for. You know, I, I might actually fly back and complete that. No, you know what? It's fine. Like I said, we've got other quests to complete. It's fine if I complete the quest because then it'll make that episode where I go do this hide quest just a lot easier. A Drusillian Sovereign. I hope that's worth something later, because it means nothing to me now. It's funny, I really didn't expect to find that Mellow Vera that easily. I was expecting to, like, spend a while looking for it at some point. I didn't even think about it, and then, you know, there's a waterfall here, so it makes sense, but... I completely forgot about that. Okay, anything over here? What's this little bit of land for? Nothing? Nothing. Alright, whatever. Oh, there's something. Oh, and then, okay, we got a campsite. Cool, perfect. All right, chunk of silver ore. That means we can definitely make something at this campsite. Is this guy just the same guy again that's at every campsite? Yeah. So, where am I supposed to go for that? There's a crossbow challenge in Galopolis City. So, we'll have to go to, back to Galop Galopolis at some point for that. Let's just go ahead and campfire or make a campfire for the night. Alright, so let's forge some items. It should level up, yeah. Perfect. Alright, let's see what we can do. We learned double whammy. That's pretty nice. I think that's probably like one of those new skills that let me do it. It's a, it's a single strike with double the standard strength. That's nice. The problem with those uh, skills, though, is that they use more force or whatever, uh than usual so sometimes it's not worth it to use them because it wastes so much of your like available whatever it is I forget what it's called okay so let's check heavy ones no I don't think we really have anything new to make there's this boomerang which would be really nice but we don't have any big bones where do you get big bones Ugh. I really wish I could make that. I really like the X-shaped uh, boomerangs. Okay, so... We're gonna have to find big bones. We need to keep that in mind. Because that's something I definitely want to make. 
Butterfly knife, no. No, Claymore. And yeah, nothing else is really worth making as far as the weapons go. Let's check armor. Mm, that does take Silvando up quite a bit. Okay, alright, I'll make one. We'll give it to Silvando. It never hurts to get, uh, get more defense. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and try this double whammy one. Oh, that does a lot. Okay. You gotta be careful with that one. Oh, perfect. Nice. Alright, just do a couple of regular bashes up here. Oh, man, this might be a perfect. Oh, this has got to be a perfect. This has got to. It's going to be like a plus three, surely. Come on. Give me a plus three. Oh, yeah, this is a perfect. Yes, perfection. I love seeing that. A skill shield plus three. Nice. That's even better. Silvando will really... Oh, no. You know what? Silvando can't use that because he has a whip. Whatever. Someone will use that. Someone will use that. That was that was nice. All right. Um, let's check what else we can make. Um, yeah, we need another... What do we need? We need another glass frit to be able to make that. Hmm... That would be nice, but it's all good. We found several grass glass frits. I think we could probably find another one. Ooh, we can make the malleable mask. Nice. Oh, yeah, because remember that was the one we bought one, and then we immediately got the recipe for it. So we can actually make two of these. Oh, that's nice, nice, nice. Because then three of our party members will have one, and they uh, they take everyone up like ten defense, I think, so... Okay, let's do another double whammy down here on the bottom ones. Really? It's still... Okay, cool. Let's try one more here. I'm scared. I don't want it to go too far. Alright. Let's try regular bashes to see... I want to see how far it takes me up. Alright. Um, I'm thinking... You know what? I'm thinking a double whammy here. Alright. That was a good, uh, good guess. Perfect, perfect. Now, perfect. All right, we don't. It's not going to be a perfection, but I don't care. It'll be a malleable mask, and that'll that'll take everyone or take whoever puts it on up. So it's worth it. Success. It's plus one. That's not horrible. I really like this system a lot. It's a new. It's a new system. It really is. But oh, what? Oh, I thought I could make two. I could only make one. It's the butterfly wings that I need. I need one more butterfly wing to be able to make one. Ugh, that really sucks. I really thought... I thought I had enough stuff to make two. Alright, that's okay. It's, it's not a big deal. What we'll do... We'll give the one we made... I'll give it to... I guess Veronica or Serena... Because I want their defense to be up further. Because they're, they're mages. So, we'll do that in just a second. A steel helmet? Yeah, I'll make that for sure. Nice. Okay. Let's put some of that royal soil to, to, uh, to work, finally. We picked up like a billion of those, it feels like. Okay. Ooh, that was a close one. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that one into the green now. Alright. Too far, too far. Damn it. Alright, now we got we to gotta get the rest perfect now. Come on. Perfect. So we got two perfects. Hopefully that'll uh, even out that one we messed up. It sucks, too, because if I hadn't messed that one up, it probably would have been a, uh, a perfection this time. Just a success. Not a big deal. It's, it's still a plus two, so that's pretty good. We got four perfectionist pearls. We got 15 now. We can definitely make some stuff with that. All right. Let's see. Templar's uniform. Yeah, nothing else here is really worth it that we can make right now, at least. Um... Mm, nothing else I can make here. 
to check the accessories. Nope. Uh, do have enough to make a gold ring. Cool. All right. Let's make another gold ring. Because when in doubt, make a gold ring, right? All right. So, let's try some double whammies. There we go. Oh, it was close. It almost went too far. You know what? We're just going to be careful with this other one. I think I'm in the green, but I'm going to hit it one more time. Perfect. Okay. There we go. We got another gold ring now. Just want to see if it's plus one or two. Plus one. Whatever. It's fine. I'm not worried about it. We'll get two perfectionist pearls for that. And then the last thing we're going to do is see what we can do with our perfectionist pearls. Okay, so we can up our healer finally. So let's do that. Because that's, uh, that's the thing that gives uh, Red Chan health every turn. So that's worth it to keep leveling up whenever we're able to. Alright, another double whammy. And then let's just do some regular bashes up here. Come on, give me, give me a perfect. No! Let's try one more time. Too far, too far. I screwed it up. I should have just waited. Oh, I've got that lightning bash, too. I could have used that. What? Perfection? How? It only went up to a plus three. I don't get how... I, I really don't get how I got a perfection out of that. But I'll take it. Because I thought I'd screwed it up. Alright, let's see what else we can do now. Um, let's do, maybe let's do, like, uh, Serena's Lolly Stick, because that would up her Magical Mending, which is what gives us, uh, whenever she heals us, it would heal us for more. So, that's worth it to do, I think. Alright, so let's go ahead and do a couple of, actually, let's do the Double Edge Bash here. No, it's not taking it up very far. Let's do some double whammies. Man, this thing is not wanting to move, is it? Alright, this time we're going to do some lightning bashes. Perfect, perfect. Now, one more. Perfect. Okay, come on. Please be a perfection. That would be so cool to get a perfection on the lolly stick. That would take our healing up quite a bit, I feel like. Nah, just a success. It went to a plus two, though, so that's still pretty good. Alright, I'll tell you what, we're going to save the rest of our perfectionist pearls, because I don't want to waste them all. Uh, we got an award for reworking ten items. Nice. Alright, guys, well, um, I guess that's really, that's about it. Um... Sorry there wasn't much that happened in this episode, but uh, next time will be a little bit more fun-packed, action-filled, whatever you want to say. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, though, please leave a like or subscribe. I try and release videos for this series every day of the week, and I, whenever I'm done with this series, I'll continue to release videos every day of the week. I'm not sure what I'm going to do after this, but uh, I'm definitely going to finish Shinmu too. So, Alright, well, that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone have a great life.